Hello students, welcome to my class. Today we are going to discuss about a concept of heat energy that is radiant heat. Okay, radiant heat or we can call it a thermal radiation or simply radius. Okay, so students, conduction and convection are the process of transfer of heat through a proper medium. They require a medium to transfer heat from one object to another object. Fine, but radiation, it doesn't need any medium. Students, have you ever thought about how we get the heat energy from the sun? Because the space between sun and earth is full of vacuum. So, it doesn't have any medium to travel, but we get the heat energy. That heat energy we get through radiation. Same way, you might have experienced that whenever there is a hot container kept anywhere and you put your palms nearby, you can feel the warmth. How, how the heat energy from the hot container transfers to your palm? That is because of radiation. Because between your palms and the hot container, there is air, which is a bad conductor of heat energy. So how does it travel? It doesn't have any medium, but it travels through radiation. Same way, when you put your palms around the electric bulb, which is glowing, you can also feel the warmth. Okay, that is also because of radiation. Again, the space between you and the surface of the bulb is full of air, which is a bad conductor, but the heat transfers to radiation. These are some examples of radiation. Students, we know that light travels with the speed of 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Fine. Radiations also travel at the same speed in vacuum or air and it also carries properties of light. But the difference is that it cannot create the sensation of sight. Okay. We can see any object because of light but radiations don't help us to see any object it only transfers the heat energy okay and the radiations also they travel in a straight line just like the light light also travels in a straight line okay light rays with rays of light okay radiations also travel in a straight line and they travel in the vacuum with the speed of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second okay Students, whenever radiations fall on a body, what happens? The surface of the body absorbs the heat energy or it reflects. That depends upon the surface of the body. Okay. So now we will discuss that uh, which surfaces absorb the heat energy and which reflects. Okay. Experimentally, it is uh, proved that the objects or the surface. Okay. Which are black or dull they absorb the heat energy and which are white polished or you can say shiny they reflect the heat energy or heat radiations in our day to day life we actually experience these things but in general, you don't think how does it happen, okay, and why does it happen? This concept can be proved by ourselves at home with an activity. So, let us discuss an activity, how we can prove that black objects or black surface absorbs heat energy and white and polished surfaces, they reflect heat energy, okay. Students, the following activity demonstrates that black surfaces are better observers of heat than white surfaces. So, what we need to do? We need to take two identical cold drink cans filled with equal amount of water. Paint one can black and the other white from outside. Place a thermometer in each can with the bulb of the thermometer properly dipped in water. Now place both the cans at an equal distance from the room heater. Switch on the heater on and let it remain on for 15 minutes. So, what we can observe that the temperature reading in the thermometer placed in the black can is higher than 
the reading in the thermometer placed in the white can. This is so because a black surface is a better observer of heat radiations than a white surface. Okay? Students, let us now discuss about some applications of black and white surfaces in daily life. See what we do in summer? We prefer to wear white clothes. Why? Because the white color, it reflects most of the heat energy that is radiated from the sun. And that is in winter season, we prefer to wear dark or black color clothes. Why? Because it absorbs the heat energy. So the heat energy generated by our body is absorbed by the black clothes and it doesn't allow the heat energy to transmit or radiate outside the cloth. So the heat energy captured by the cloth is it makes our body warm. Okay. You might have seen that the utensils those are used in our kitchen have a black surface or black coat underneath. Why? Because when it is kept on gas stove or heater it absorbs the heat energy and the heat energy is used to cook the food. Okay. In winters we use room heaters. You might have seen that there is a filament inside the room heater which glows when it is switched on. And you might have observed that there is a shiny surface behind the filament. What it does actually? It reflects almost all the heat energy radiated by the filament outwards. So the heat energy is radiated within the room thereby keeping the room warm. Okay, you can have lot many examples like that in your day to day life. You just need to look around and you can find many more examples like this. Okay, students today we have discussed about the radiant heat or which is called the thermal radiation or simply radiations. I hope you have understood everything clearly. If not, please watch the video again. You can understand everything very easily. Okay. Now what you need to do, you need to go through the book and revise it properly so that you will understand it in a better way. Okay. So keep revising, keep practicing and most importantly keep smiling.